Anil Vazirani's letter to Senator Gillibrand regarding investment advisor protections for American investors dated June 22, 2017, reads as such. Despite its reluctant implementation this month, the U.S. Department of Labor's fiduciary rule remains under attack, and we must not allow its unscrupulous opponents to prevail in their efforts to reverse or weaken this critical safeguard for American investors. Given their record as a Senate champion of consumer protection and individual retirement investors, I respectfully urge you to do the following. Oppose the Financial Choice Act, which among other harms would reverse outright the fiduciary rule's conflict of interest protections as it comes before the Senate. Remain vigilant over the Labor Department's ongoing review of the final rule and its effect, and work to ensure that the Securities and Exchange Commission fulfills its role in protecting vulnerable and unsophisticated seniors and retirees from the predatory marketing practices of insurance companies, their marketing organizations, and agents who are seeking to undo the rule's fiduciary standard so they can continue to reap high commissions, bonuses, and rewards at the expense of unsuspecting investors. Like you, I express my strong support for the fiduciary rule in a public comment on the Labor Department's proposed delay on applicability of the final rule, as well as in an expert commentary published on Law360.com. For years, independent marketing organizations, or IMOs, and the insurance companies that back them systematically have misled investors by preying on their fears and forcing high-fee, complex, proprietary fixed-indexed annuities, or FIAs, on them, regardless of whether the product was in the investor's best interest. The designers of complex proprietary FIAs lure insurance agents with potentially high commissions and annual bonuses. They also incentivize IMOs marketing these complex proprietary FIAs with protected margins of commission and limited distribution models that ultimately hurt investors due to the deceptive marketing nature of these particular FIAs. The industry and its trade groups, in particular the National Association for Fixed Annuities, or NAFA, NAFA, whose members are storming Capitol Hill this week, are continuing to wage war against the rule in an aggressive effort to overturn it through litigation, as well as public relations and lobbying campaigns. The designers of these complex proprietary FIAs, a Nexus Group, Market Synergy, and Innovative Design Group, and the insurance companies and distributors that back them, notably Nationwide Insurance Company, Security Benefit Insurance Company, Aviva Life and Annuity Company, recently acquired by Athene Insurance Company, Advisors Excel LLC, and Creative One Marketing Corporation, induce or at a minimum cause insurance agents to give investment advice without an investment license. They also commit source of funds violations by influencing the movement of money from securities into complex proprietary FIAs without the proper securities license and potentially abuse the principle of past performance not being indicative of future results by using hypothetical illustrations to project non-guaranteed returns. We must ensure that these unregulated, unscrupulous practices are permanently erased from the investment marketplace. I share your passion and commitment to protecting American investors from misleading marketing practices and predatory sales practices as they relate to complex proprietary annuity products. Having worked in this industry for decades, I am well acquainted with those corrupt entities in the industry whose marketing presentations and instruments have a propensity to mislead. I stand ready to offer my years of insight into the corrupt practices of IMOs and other insurers, including providing specific evidence of IMOs, misleading marketing tactics, and conversations to skirt regulatory scrutiny. Thank you for your consideration. Respectfully, yours, Anil Vazirani. Retire and stay retired, safe, smart, and secure. Visit our website at dreamretire.com.